Hello, it's Olimik. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace sway bar bushing and also show you how it sounds when they wear out. Sway bar uses to keep your vehicle from rolling over. When you go around a turn, your vehicle's body rolls to one side and the sway bar keeps the car balanced. So today we're gonna replace it with a new one. But first, let's drive the car to hear how it sounds when they need to be replaced. This is not only weird out, but also broken. Let's block the front tires and make sure the gear shifter on parking position and the handbrake engage it. Now we can safely jack up the car and put it on a jack stand. Remember, there is two sway bars on a car, one at the front and one at the rear. And both have bushings, so keep that in mind. I will remove the wheel for this side and then replace the bushing. But the other side, I will replace it without removing the wheel. Good idea to replace it if your car high enough, if you don't have a jack or a jack stand. And when you're removing the wheel, put the wheel under the car for extra safety. For removing bushings, we're gonna need a ratchet and 12mm socket. Most cars' bushing size are 12 or 14mm. Loosen the top bolt and then loosen and remove the bottom bolt. Now the bushing bracket free. The bushing has a cut to it, it will come off just like that. Here is a comparison of old and new bushing. And when you buying a new bushing, make sure to get the right size. This is a size 20 and I bought size 20. If you get bigger size, you will still hear a sound when you're driving the car. I like to clean the sway bar with WD-40. Not only cleans it, but also lubricate it for the new bushings. Now we can slide the new bushing. Remember, the flat side of the bushing will be against the subframe. Next, put the bushing bracket. Make sure the holes are centered and then put the bolts back. Hand tighten the bolt first and then use ratchet. Alright, we are done for this side. Moving to the other side, the process will be the same like we did for the driver's side. The only difference is I didn't remove the wheel for this side. Hope the video gave you some ideas how easy the job was so you can replace your own sway bar bushing at home without spending too much. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.